Okay, so I just got a uh, three cell lipo that I'm going to be installing in my Duratrax Evader. This is a 5000 milliamp 20C pack and uh, it fits uh, just nicely right into the existing tray. There's very little room under the, uh, the old uh, speed control mount. But uh, what I did in order to get this to work, it does sit higher than the original uh, battery tray mount, and I've installed a new uh, battery tray mount using the uh, Traxxas uh, 3727. Uh, it's, it's actually designed for the Rustler battery hold down, and it comes with uh, this little metal pin. And all, all I basically did was I drilled a hole into the upper steering servo tray to raise that up and then the existing uh, battery mount then fits underneath the speed control like so and the tray mounts down just just like it like so now I'm going to go ahead and turn this on so you can see what the three cells looking like using the 60 amp easy run. Oh, it right off. <laughs> okay, this is the wheel that just flew off the evader, and what actually happened was the inner hub of the wheel sheared right off, leaving a center hole right into the wheel. Pretty impressive torque there. Okay, we're running a three cell lipo in a Duratrax Evader EXT2 running a Tacon 3200 kilovolt motor and a Hobbywing 60 amp speed control. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start real slow with it. This is um, not even running. This is a bare minimum speed right here, and we'll go ahead and give just a little bit of short burst. That's about half throttle right there, and I'll try to get the full throttle here. Go. That's about half throttle, and we'll do about a half throttle run here. Almost get up to full throttle there, but not quite. Okay, I've been running the three cell lipo in this for about 10, 10 minutes or so, and I'm going to go ahead and check the uh, temperature readings. And so far, the motor is registering close to 150 degrees and the speed control is registering about 90, 92 degrees and the battery pack is a uh, really cool 86 degrees so running on the three cell lipo after about 10 minutes the, uh, the motor is definitely the, the hottest component at 150 degrees